Aaron Rodgers played in his first game for the Packers in over two months. But the return of the All-Pro quarterback WASNT enough to push Green Bay to an upset win in Charlotte. Rodgers had an uneven performance in his return from a broken collarbone. Vacillating between drive-extending magic and underthrown mistakes in the Pack's 31-24 lust to the Panthers. While he showed flashes of the player who led the league in touchdown passes through the first quarter of the season, he was unable to shake off the rust that accumulated over a nine-week absence, ultimately falling short against an opportunistic Carolina defense. Cam Newton, on the other hand, played one of his finest games of the season to win a showdown between former MVPs. Did Aaron Rodgers' return make a difference? Yes, just not enough of one. Rodgers showcased the dynamic scrambling and innate ability to find open receivers that has made him one of the game's top players. But he also made a handful of uncharacteristic mistakes that ultimately sunk the Packers. The first came in the second quarter when pressure in the pocket flushed him to his left and forced a wobbling off-balance throw Daryl Worley was able to snatch out of the air. Carolina WAS and he able to capitalize on the turnover. However, and an expertly timed scramble ensured Rodgers' ensuing drive would end with a vintage connection to Randall Cobb that gave Green Bay a 14-10 lead at halftime. But the break WAS and he enough time for Rodgers to recalibrate. The veteran was unable to find his range downfield consistently underthrowing his targets as a Panther secondary that had forced only six interceptions all season would wind up picking off one of the league's top passers three times. It was Rodgers' first three in game since 2009, though had recover for a fourth-quarter touchdown drive that gave him his third passing touchdown of the day and kept fans from crowding the exits. It wasn't enough to repair the Packers' broken season. A last-ditch onside kick effort would give him one last chance to lead Green Bay back from the dead. But Geronimo Allison's fumble at the Carolina 31-yard line ultimately sealed his team's fate. In the end, Cam Newton sunk Green Bay's playoff hopes. Newton conducted a symphony behind center for Carolina relying heavily on rookie tailback Christian McCaffrey and finally healthy tight end Greg Olson to grind down the Packers. McCaffrey was electric, gaining 60 total yards during his team's 75-yard touchdown march on its opening possession. Olson reclaimed his role as Newton's security blanket after earning 12 targets and catching 9 of them for 116 yards and a touchdown. The former MVP knew exactly what Green Bay was going to throw at him. He was and he shy about telling the Packers' defense all about it. Either. Newton's virtuoso performance included four passing touchdowns and 62 rushing yards on only 11 carries. But no one benefited more from Newton's big game than little used wideout Damier Bird. The second-year player had only seven career receptions before Sunday's game. Head get his butt down in the back of the end zone to finish off a touchdown drive that gave his team a 24-14 lead in the third quarter and spark a lively debate over whether one cheek was more valuable than two feet near the sideline. Head add another touchdown catch in the fourth quarter to cap off the biggest performance of his career even if he finished with only three receptions. How did this affect the NFC playoff race? The win improved Carolina to 10-4 on the season and put the Panthers in position to secure a playoff spot in Week 16. Newton's team will need the Saints to lose one of their final two games in order to have a shot at the NFC South crown and a hosting gig on Wild Card Weekend. The path to the playoffs is now a broken road for Green Bay. The Packers went 3-5 with Rodgers sidelined, effectively wiping the momentum of a 4-1 start off the books. 
that left the team at 7-6 in a hyper-competitive NFC and basically needing to win out in order to have a realistic shot at the playoffs. And then they lost Sunday. A Falcons win on Monday Night Football would eliminate Green Bay from playoff contention and likely end Rodgers' season.